fifth place in the Carbon Sap Championship 2011. Some of the Indian supporters also taking a leaf out of the Nepalese and Afghan supporters with the tricolor painted onto their cheeks. This is all the influence of the Premiership. That's the Indian team warming up. Important match for them. Skipper Climax Lawrence, Sunil Chhetri, Karanjit Singh stretching out. Clifford Miranda, who scored two goals in the previous match. There's Dirbal Chetri with a little cut on his right eyebrow. Well, the important players over here, uh, Clifford Miranda, Sunil Chetri and JJ Lal Peklua. And, of course, uh, ca the captain, uh, Climax Lawrence, number eight. Sayyid Nabi, 22, loves to overlap. And the men from the Emerald Isle from Sri Lanka, old rivals of India. MSK Fernando, the goalkeeper, but they preferred Sujan Pereira as the goalkeeper. And they're going to be a very important uh, battle over here. Uh, Mohammad Zain, the number 12. Then there is MNM Izaidin, Tuan Rizmi, bundle of energy on the right, the number 7. And of course, Captain Ruan Thilaka, number 4. And Chatura Gunaratne, the midfielder, number 10. And here they come out. Taimur Fezulin, Fezulin of Kyrgyzstan, uh, he's the referee leading them out. India, the men in blue, in their traditional light blue jerseys. The Brazil of South Asia, India is known as, they have to play like that now. In terms of domination, they are like that. Well, the Indian supporters hoping their team can turn on the magic. Nabi, Nirmal Chetri, they're going to be the two wing backs. Will they be happy at the end of the match also? India need just a draw to qualify. But to top the group, they really have a mountain to climb. That's the tricolor. Two hours from now, will it really be fluttering high? And now for the national anthem of Sri Lanka, Mother Sri Lanka. The national and anthem of Sri Lanka, Sri Lanka Mata, or Mother Sri Lanka, the national anthem adopted in 1951. Now the melodious tunes of Janaganamana. Janaganamana, which had the crowd on their feet, the players all pepped up. And now action will commence after the formal introductions. And as we said, very important for India. India, the giants of the region, economically, geographically, and even in terms of football development, club football now very well established in, in India, as of course it is also in Maldives. The referee, 
over here. Taimur Fazulin of Kyrgyzstan, a sports teacher, 29 years old, in the FIFA panel since 2009, highly rated in Asia as one of the great Asian referees of the future, Taimur Fazulin. And here he's doing this important match, important for the terms of qualification. Sri Lanka need a win. It's now or never for this team, posing for their photograph. They have beaten India in the 1995 final, and that was at Colombo, which Sri Lanka won when they had two Brazilian coaches, the father and son combination. And here they are, Climax Lawrence, exchanging flags with the central defender, uh, Ruan Tilaka, uh, with Taimur Fezulin, and <coughs> to his left, the two, that is uh, Sube Anas of Syria and Choi Binyong, the fourth referee, Nago Ramir of uh, Malaysia. So climax, and over here, Ruan Thalika, Rohana Ruan Thalika, who plays for the, for the Saunders Club, WRD Ruan Thalika, also posing for posterity. Savio Madeira, he's won this tournament as a player in 1997 in Kathmandu. Sayyad Naimuddin was India's coach then. Can he win it as a coach? Very important day for him. S Savio Madeira, slightly conservative in his selection. Uh, continued with Rokas Lamare and others who have been really impressed. We thought he'd ring in the changes, but this is an important game. Now, the Indian team in the huddle, Karanjit Singh, the goalkeeper, he's going to be tested more in this match than before. And this is Jang Jong, the Korean coach, former international goalkeeper for Korea. So he's played some matches for them, a player of high pedigree. Uh, the South Korean coach with Sri Lanka on his second stint with Sri Lanka and he's with his assistant uh, that is Chandrasi also a goalkeeper former played for the Sri Lankan team Chandrasiri former national goalkeeper he also played in Bangladesh for Abani so Sujan Pereira Sunil Chetri scored three goals in the tournament second in the goal scorers list after Bilal Arzu the Afghanistan wonder boy Sunil Chetri He's got 30 goals for his country, well on his way to becoming the first Indian to score 50 goals if he maintains form and fitness. He's played just over 50 matches for the country. Very crucial player for the country, Sunil Chetri. India will play left to right. Sri Lanka looking smart in bright white, sparkling white. Kick off, playing from right to left. How will this match unfurl? Will India? Go for goals, go for victory. It's a bit of a catch-22 situation, Hamlet-like dilemma. You play for a draw or go for a win. India, a draw will suffice. A draw means they are second in the group and will take on old rivals Maldives. 2008 Maldives India final, 2009 Maldives India final. So, are we going to meet in the semi-final again? It will depend after 90 minutes in this match. Gormangisi. Mohamed Nazi. Free kick. We see this tackle from behind, is it? Free kick going Sri Lanka's way in the first minute. Climax directing the troops. Free kick. Take him low. No problems for the Indian defence. Maish Gauli clearing his line. Skipper brought down. Cautious start by both teams. That was by Nadira Pushpakarma. Plays for the police team. Savio belting out instructions. The midfielder himself, Savio Madeira. Maish Gauli, a veteran of many a battle. JJ Lal Peklua. Finds Sunil Chetri, the local hero. The raw goes up every time he'll get a touch of the ball.
slow, cautious start by both teams, <laughs> neither venturing into attack. Even Nabi, now moving up front, Nabi. Clifford Miranda, mispassing, attended to change flanks. This is Aydin, the army man. Rokas Lamare, Climax Lawrence. India have to settle down, compose themselves, pass more accurately. Rokas Lamare, Mahesh Gauli, Gormangi Singh, a regular in the Indian team since the 2007 Nehru Cup, in this position, right central defender. He scored two goals in the 2008 SAF Championships at Maldives, Sri Lanka. Marcus Pacheco and the others, the goalkeeper coach, along with Savio Madeira and all the other officials sitting there. It's foul against Sunil Chetri against the army man, Waraka Goda. Now, on the break, Sri Lanka. Flag has stayed down. Sri Lanka through Nipuna. Nipuna who likes to play on the flank. Now, headed away by Nabi. He'll play on the left, he'll play on the right. Nipuna. Bandare. Dhanushka Vijeshri, the left back. Sri Lanka will be very serious here. Because they know they need a win, otherwise it's early elimination. India surprisingly not playing Steven Dias. The coach continuing with Anthony Pereira. Nirmal Chetri, who had a bit of a cut in the match against Bhutan, but he keeps the right back place. Nirmal Chetri, East Bengal. Mahesh Gauli, nice skills here. Settling down, India settling down. Sunil Chetri falling deep. Nirmal Chetri. Trying to find JJ and JJ has been pulled up for obstructing Roshan Ruan Teleka, the Sri Lankan captain. Cautious start by both teams that Danushka Vijeshri, the army man, nicely taken by Nirmal Chetri, growing in confidence, Nirmal Chetri. Not really played all that much for the country. Just his 10th match. That is the inscrutable Korean, the goalkeeper, former international goalkeeper, now coach of Sri Lanka. Lovely diagonal ball. Could spell danger. He does control on the far side, but the tackle comes in from Nabi. Sayyid Rahim Nabi. India's outstanding player. And that was Mohammad Zain, another dangerous customer. Slick in his passing and receiving Mohammad Zain. Okay. Corner to be taken. Izaidin, another army man, MNM Izaidin. Hurls it in. Nicely taken, a chance for India, on the break, Nabi. Nabi loves to go bombing forward, but this time foil. They'll have done their homework on Nabi. They know he can be a danger man. And that was Tuan Rizni. The tricolor, these youngsters enjoying their evening out at the Nehru Stadium. Shades of the EPL with the tricolor painted on their, fla on their cheeks. Central defender Nirmal Chetri 
some slightly aimless ball. Sujan Pereira comes out of his box, makes a bit of a muddle of it. <laughs> and this is a comic action as he, he can't handle the ball, so he chests it out. Uh, the referee has given a free kick. Sujan Pereira, there we see that replay. There's a bit of a circus act over here, Sujan Pereira. <laughs> and there even JJ is laughing. He's like a seal playing with the football. But for all his anticipation, his activities and presence of mind, he concedes a free kick from a dangerous position. It's like a corner kick only being taken about 10 yards ahead. And Clifford Miranda can curl them in. So the first chance for India in the eighth minute after a cautious start. Clifford Miranda sent this free kick all the way back home to Goa instead of shooting it across the face of the goal. Really a bit over anxious in this. He should have controlled his cross. yet to settle down, yet to display any rhythm in their game. Sri Lanka content to play this long ball and try and force India into a mistake. Now here they come, Tuan Rizni, he's got a good turn of speed. Climax Lawrence, nice through ball to Chetri. Chetri on his own, the raw goes up, remember he's a local boy, wants the return. Clifford Miranda brought down. Taimur Fezuli, the sports teacher, 29 year old, always on the spot, the Kyrgyzstan referee. There's climax, and it's really at full stretch. Mohammad Zain could be interpreted as dangerous play also. The referee telling Tuan Rizni to retreat. Anthony Pereira, Clifford Miranda, the two Dempo teammates standing near the ball. Anthony Pereira really not had the best of tournaments. Can he make amends here? Very feeble, free kick. Bormangi gets a second bite of the cherry. Cross coming in by Rokus Lamare, JJ Lal Peklua. JJ, Rokus finds JJ and with a quick turn of the neck, crisp header. But the cross didn't have power. It was more, more of a chip. And there's JJ, very ac acrobatically turns the ball goalwards. But it was an, in the end a feeble attempt. Climax, Anthony Sri Lanka trying this penetration down the flanks on either flank. That was Isai Bean, the left-sided midfielder who moves up very well. Isai Bean. The supporters, the Maldives players and fans. Now Chetri, his family is watching him here. His father, his mother, his parents, his other family members, they are all here watching him, cheering him on. Dhanushka Vijishri building up gradually. Chatura Gunaratne. Nice build up here by Sri Lanka. That's Mohammad Nazir. In the right back position, a lovely through ball across Sunni and Nabi, Sayyid Rahim Nabi to the rescue. Prevents the cross coming in from Mohammad Zain. 
fine through ball. Mohammad Zain had the time, but he delayed. And Nabi had reached it. Very cautious start. Both teams, they know how important this match is. Chance to enter the semi-final of the Carbon 2011 SAF Championships. Anthony Pereira. Nirmal Chetri from Bimal Ghosh's stable in Air India. The several products from Air India who've gone on to play for India. Yusuf Ansari, Godfrey Pereira, Tomba Singh, Bango Singh, and a host of others. Jeevan Mores comes to mind also, who's now migrated to New Zealand. But here come India, Climax Lawrence, JJ, Chetri, and Chetri a bit over elaborate. The back heel, nobody following up. Rizni Dhanushi Vijesh Dhanushka Vijesh Chatura Gunarati Dhanushka Vijesh the left back Gunaratne Mohammad Nazar Nice turn here by Tuan Rizni Indian midfield compact Karanjeet comes off his line and connects. Goalkeeper who plays his football for the I-League and Federation Cup champion, Salgaonkar Football Club, who hails from Punjab, formerly of JCT. coming here again first quarter of the match slow paced cautious no teams really going into attack Maish Gauli Sayyid Rahim Nabi has also been a bit cautious because of the dangerous lurking presence of Mohammad Zain on the right. We've not seen Nabi overlap so much. India not yet using the flanks, just this penetration, long ball by Gormangi Singh. JJ working up a sweat already. Puts in a lot of work rate, Lal Peklua. Sayyad Rahim Nabi. Nice through ball, but offside. He's miles offside. JJ Lal Peklua. Sri Lankan defense had moved up. Nabi, it's a good penetrative through ball. He's spread eagle the Sri Lankan defense, but he's at least 10 yards offside. Subayanas, the Syrian goalkeeper, a very easy decision to make. Little worry on Savio Madeira's face. That rhythm is not coming in the Indian team. That short passing, good movement of the ball. All that is lacking. Foul, that was a foul by Dhanushka, Vijeshri, and it allows Clifford Miranda a chance to take this free kick with his favourite left foot. He can swing it to the far side. Gets a little curve on it. Header goalwards. But Sujan Pereira of the Kulutara Park is alert. 
That's Nirbal Chetri with the header. Sunil Chetri with the header. Nirmal Chetri was following up. Suyad Rahim Nabi. Rokas Lamare. Gormangi Singh. Aiming for a ball over the defence, over the Sri Lankan defence. Sri Lanka taking the sting out of India's attack by playing this keep ball, possession ball, possession football. Sunil Chetri. A chance here for India. Goalkeeper slow to come out, Sujan Pereira. Head back was slightly feeble. But Sri Lanka settle, compose themselves. JJ, Mizoram boy, plays for Pune FC. Now Nirmal Chetri. Total miss pass. Playing the ball to feet, Ruan Tilaka, Dhanushka Vijeshri, turning and twisting, compelled to play it back was Gunaratne and the long clearance from defence by the Sri Lankan captain, but the ball snatched away, could be trouble, low left footer to the first port by Nipuna Bandare, he's a tricky customer. Difficult to control, suspicion of handball, but he'd taken it with his chest, the upper shoulder blade, and pounced on the bouncing ball. Sayyad Rahim Nabi rarely has ventured up front. Now he does so in this match. First time he's gone up front. Nice build up here by Sri Lanka, but Gauli anticip anticipates. Referee waves play on. Chetri doesn't get there. And cleared by Bandara Warakakora. And the skipper Ruatalik Ruantilik. <laughs> Sri Lanka in the middle third blocking India, sliding in very effectively. That is Mohammad Nazar who is playing. Mohammad Nazar as right back. The usual right back was Chamir Akrishanta, but it is Mohammad Nazar doing duty. Nirmal Chet.
Nirmal Chetri being bodily blocked over there. That was by Isaidin. Moving up, Mahesh Gauli for India, central defender. Offside. trying to create some attacks but Sri Lankan defense has got a tight hold over them and the midfield is not really creative. Rokas Lamare intercepting, doing a lot of grafting work in midfield, the Salgaonkar player. Chatura Gunaratne, the main playmaker, Chatura Gunaratne. He and Pushpakarma. And a free header, this is a bit of a surprise. Three Indian defenders there, none of them went up uh, with Nipuna Pandare, who can be quite a handful. So midway through the first half, it's still even Stevens, goalless. Such a result will suit India, but they'll come second in the group with five points there. It's a long way to go, Dhanushka. Chetri in attack, Nirma Chetri forced to cut back, the move breaks down, they are compelled to play back, very good tactical play by Sri Lanka, not giving India easy openings, now the old the style of just punting the ball up front is a hopeful football, hoping for a mistake from the opposing defence, not really clicking, that's why there's worry and apprehension on Savio's face. countries which have had a long history in football, India, the All India Football Federation getting formed in 1937, Sri Lanka also forming their football association in 1939, but as has been the practice in both these countries as is in Pakistan, Bangladesh, the last two decades or so, cricket has taken over as the most popular sport, that's why you see some empty stands here with the national team playing in Delhi. In terms of FIFA rankings also, uh, both teams have dipped considerably, both countries. India declining to 162 and Sri Lankan 176. Lovely fine penetrated through ball. This finds Chetri on his own. But Chetri loses out, unable to dribble his marker. Snatched and shot over. The hard-working Mizoram boy JJ Lal Peklua 
formerly of the Indian Arrows. He snatches the ball but blazes over. So nothing to cheer for for Savio Madeira. So far it's a slow paced goalless draw. Battle of chess going on. Both teams seizing each other up. Maybe the pace will pick up in the second half. Chatura Gunaratne. Mohammad Nazar. Offside. Compressing the field of play, the Indian defence keeping a somewhat high line so that even these clever diagonal passes, the player is caught offside. Defence has to be very confident to do such things. When India on the break, Climax Lawrence, Anthony Pereira delays in shooting. The tempo player, Anthony Pereira, just scored two goals so far for India. Anthony Pereira has played over 15 times for the country. JJ, Anthony's cross doesn't come in. Very little to cheer about. Sri Lanka trying this long ball penetration, but there the Korean referee on the far side, Choi Min Byung, 37 year old, indicates offside. So it seems the ration of goals got con concluded in the Afghanistan match with Bhutan. Where Afghanistan won 8 1. Your goals are a rare commodity this game. Not even much goal, goal mouth action or goal bound moves to cheer the sparse crowd that is gathered. So the long throw by Mohammad Nazar. It's on the break. Sri Lanka looking dangerous. India regrouping. Shot across the face of the goal. Not much trouble for Karanjit, but the defense caught napping as India did take a try at goal. That was Mohammad Zain. Quick turn and Indian defence should have closed him down much earlier. And giving instructions, Jian Yung to Damodran Chandrasi, one goalkeeper to another, both former international goalkeepers. to make an attempt. Ball still not out. Anthony Pereira seems to have lost that cutting edge in his speed. Sri Lankan defence has height, so unless the crosses are penetrated, they won't be effective, but he have managed a corner kick as the captain is brought down. Climax Lawrence is the stretcher coming onto the field for the first time. There we see barging into the player was Tuan Rizni doing a lot of defensive work. So, Sri Lanka keeping their shape in midfield very well.
But India have this free kick now. Let's look, see how they take it. Will it be Clifford Miranda? It's well within shooting distance. Just a couple of yards away from the 18-yard box. Chetri, well, he's moved off. Anthony, Climax and Clifford, the three Tempo teammates, plotting this move for India. Also, all are go up on. So, the free kick. A roar goes up from the crowd. Clifford Miranda, close, but not close enough. That's it, curling in, it dips a bit too late. Over the wall, you see that, but the dip is at the last second. You can see it from different angles, this free kick, but Sujan Pereira remains untroubled. Totally untroubled, Sujan Pereira. India not showing any liveliness or inventiveness. Can they do it now? Through ball to Chetri. Chetri attempting a one-touch pass. The defence cuts it off. All of India's attacks breaking down in the middle third. They've not got into the box. Chetri falling deep. But miss passing. Rokas Lamare. Climax Lawrence. Accurate ball. Clifford. Chetri intercepts but off the rebound comfortably to goalkeeper Sujan Pereira. No trouble at all. Sri Lanka playing a game of great patience. Here's see Clifford's cross. JJ tried to intercept, but nothing doing. Great game of great patience by Sri Lanka. They are weathering the storm and then they go into attack. Chatura Gunaratne. Dhanushka, Vijishri, left back, Rokas Lamar. Anthony Pereira to Chetri, Chetri on his own. Anthony Pereira off target. JJ and Chetri combined well, and the ball was rolled to Anthony Pereira. He didn't shoot goal. So a slow pace first half, slowly coming towards the end. No goal mouth action. There's, it's really a game of patience or a game of slow chess. Cross, will it come in? But Nabi has other ideas. India's left back, Sayyid Rahim Nabi. Doesn't give any openings. He started as a forward in Tata Football Academy. When duty for East Bengal, he became a fullback. Anthony Pereira. Now Rokas Lamare. Sunil Chetri trying to peel away from his marker. Very weak pass. He just can't find Clifford Miranda. India not being able to get together more than five to six passes. To play this patient possession football, you have to keep the ball for long periods and frustrate your opponents. Here, there are lots of unforced errors. Again, Nabi, it just looked good, but the intention was fine, but it's totally off target. There's Clifford Miranda.
very firm tackling Mohammad Nazar good introduction by Sri Lanka doesn't overlap much but is a good defender he's kept Clifford Miranda in check both the back fours playing well both playing in a similar formation four in midfield four in defense and two front runners for India JJ and Sunil Chetri and Tuan Rizni and it is Mohammad Tain for Sri Lanka but Tuan Rizni does fall back so it becomes a flexible 4-5-1 when required on if the good cross comes in it does come in but the header is totally misdirected Sayyad Rahim Nabi who loves venturing forward Sunil Chetri's measured cross and Nabi all alone on the penalty spot should have done very well JJ Lal Peklua taking the marker away that was some good football by JJ taking the Sri Lankan captain out of position and no wonder Savio is grimacing he knows he's missed the easiest chance of the first half. His team has. It was a, good, it was a clever move by India. Showing some sort of vision. Five goals really seem a distant dream now. India struggling to score even one goal, struggling to get a shot at goal. So I think Afghanistan can already be celebrating. They can get all their favorite food ready for the night. They are going to top the group. Long high ball to the far post. This is India's main mode of attack. The Sri Lanka crowding them out in midfield. And that's a nice shot. Taken on the turn. Good crisp shot by JJ Lal Peklua. Traps well. And before he can be closed down, turns. It's an awkward shot to defend. With his fa favorite yellow boots, JJ Lal Peklua. The boy from Mizoram stays some miles away. Nahilal, the city near, uh, near Aizwal. Pace picked up in the last few minutes of the first half. As JJ brought down, referee gives advantage. JJ on his own. This is a clear opening, but delaying in the shot and the Sri Lankan defence alert falls back. That was Clifford Miranda delaying. Now Nabi close down. Four minutes left. Yes, when well that's the the Maruti Estilo, the new car which has been which is on view because they are the sponsors of the tournament, and it's a brand new sparkling car. This Maruti Estilo, uh, powered by 998 CC K Series engine, and the Maruti Suzuki Zen Estilo, sparkling more than the match has been sparkling so far. This Maruti car. That's what happens sometimes in league matches. When you're playing for positions, you have to be extra cautious. It's that's what it is. 0-0 in the previous about 90 minutes ago, we had about nine. We had nine goals in the match. Every 10 minutes, then the scoreboard was changing. Here, it has remained quite static.
Well, the draw will favour India. Well, the spectators looking on, hoping for some fireworks. They've got none so far. In the cool Delhi evening at the Nehru Stadium, they are watching this rather listless display. Nehru Stadium just doesn't seem to be a happy hunting ground for India. It's the Ambedkar Stadium which is there, which is the players' favourite. They've won three tournaments there with the roaring of the crowd seems to spur them on. Here with the athletics track and all far away and just not enough spectators. There just doesn't seem to be enough fire in the belly in this Indian team. Cross coming in, Karanjit takes it. Easy pickings, calm and cool. Spoody's maintained his concentration for 45 minutes. He barely had anything to do. In fact, even in the match against Bhutan, he barely touched the ball. Climax Lawrence. JJ, the ball was lost. Sri Lanka on the counter-attack a minute before half-time. A very feeble shot and Karanjit can watch it roll across. It was a long, long range shot by Tuan Rizni. More hopeful than with any proper intention. Korean coach has to take the initiative. Jang Yung, former Korean goalkeeper, because his team needs a win. India can progress with a goalless draw. It won't be the best of performances to enter the semi-final, but at least they will have made it to the last four. It's a long way to go. Can it change? Right footer, totally off target, completely wide. Sujan Pereira grimacing that the defenders allowed JJ Lal Peklua to reach the edge of the box, but the JJ also not having a good day at office. The Pune IFC striker. So one minute of added time by the fourth referee, Nagur Amir Noor Muhammad, the Malaysian fourth official, the vocational training teacher from Kuala Lumpur. And justifiably so because there's barely been any action, very few fouls. So one minute is just probably out of tradition. They could have closed it after 45 minutes. Very little to choose between both teams. Both teams ultra cautious. You're not seeing the wing backs go rushing forward, dashing forward, overlapping. Very few overlaps we have seen by especially somebody like Sayyid Rahim Nabi, who delights in overlapping. With that, it is Taimur Fezulin has blown the half-time whistle. Slight smile on the Korean's face. He thinks his game plan has worked. He's frustrated India, not let them get into any rhythm. The local boy, Sunil Chetri, so much was expected from him. Three goals in this tournament so far. He's done nothing. The tricolor has not really fluttered. Despite the cheering by the by the fans who've come here in reasonably large numbers, the Indian team has given them little to cheer about. Sayyid Rahim Nabi subdued because of the dangers of lurking Mohammad Zain and Tuan Rizni. And the scoreboard score, half-time score shows you India nil, Sri Lanka nil. They'll have to play much better than that in the second half.
फिर एंड में करते हैं चल Welcome back to the Nehru Stadium. The first half has been listless and has not been a 45 minutes the Indian team or the Indian supporters would like to remember. We are at the Carbon Sat Championship 2011, a Group A match between India and Sri Lanka. The lights are out. Well, there's a spring in the step of the Indian players. Hopefully, they've been given a rollicking by coach Savio Madeira. They have to reinvent themselves. Very good match Taimur Fazulin is having. Of course, not under much pressure. Sri Lanka, probably their game plan is to frustrate India and break on the counter-attack. Remember, Sri Lanka need a win to qualify. India can get through with a goalless draw. But if they do, they'll play Maldives, who are the winners of Group B. 
So the tricolour fluttering here at the Nehru Stadium and the supporters will hope for more goal mouth action. The local hero Sunil Chetri, who scored 30 goals for his country in over 50 matches. His family is watching him. His friends and fans are watching him. The people expect much more from the Indian team. They can't play much better. They have to lift their game. Are we seeing a substitution? Sri Lanka making us Mohammad Sarfraz cares in place of Tuan Rizni. That's an interesting substitution. So that's the game plan. Yes, Sri Lankan Wiley coach Yan Yong. He's brought on a front runner, Sarfraz Kares of the renowned club in place of Rizni, his club teammate. Rizni was more an attacking midfielder. Now he's going to play with two strikers, Mohammad Zain and Sarfraz Kares. Now Indian defence will have to be more alert. And so second half about to commence. These teams have had close encounters in the past. In fact, when they met in 2003, the last time the SAF Championship, it ended in a draw. Play kicks off India all in blue. Playing from right to left, Sri Lanka frustrating India. So, 1-0 to Sri Lanka in uh, the 1995 final. Amanullah scoring a golden goal. 2 all. In 29th March 1995, Bhai Chung Bhutia, a sprightly youngster like JJ is now. Uh, JJ was just born then, about two years old, and Bhai Chung was making his India debut, scored two goals in that match. So Sri Lanka have always been a troublesome opponent for India. <laughs> Whether in cricket or football, they've always troubled India. So here, looking on, Lal Gandhi Karalte, is he going to come on? When will the substitutes be on? Gormangi Singh just can't find his players. You can see Sri Lanka very disciplined, very disciplined in defence. Mohammad Nazar. Now building up play on the near side. Mohammad Zain. Good interception over there. Rokas Lamare. Climax Lawrence, Clifford Miranda. But the Sri Lankan defence holds firm. Also helped out by India's slightly inaccurate passing. Now Sunil Chetri, can he show some magic? Clearing. Nice clearance. Lovely dribble over here. Mohammad Zain trying to tackle him, Mohammad Nazar, and then the tackle coming in by the solid army man, Pandara Warkakode. Sayyid Rahim Nabi. Families and lives in a suburb in Calcutta. Started life from the Tata Football Academy as a forward. His East Bengal coach, Subhash Bahumik, converted him to a left back and he's become a fine utility player the poor man's Ruth Hulit Sayyid Rahim Nabi can play all over injured player action picking up referees rightly wave play on Clifford Miranda JJ Lal Petlua can't trap this is a total lapse of concentration Nabi compelled to fall back now play will stop for the injured player. But he's up on his feet. Well, he's having to refresh himself. Savio Madeira, he'll need more than that refreshment. If India don't get through, this will be the first time in the history of the SAF Championship that India has not made the semi-final. And that even on home soil, it will be like the death knell of Indian football if that happens. But it's 45 minutes to go. India, remember, is the big brother of this region. Not just politically, but in terms of football development also. Sri Lanka getting this corner kick. This is, seems to be the game plan that wily Korean coach. He's now pushing men into attack. Chatura, Gunaratne, Nirmal Chetri with the interception. Cross coming in. India has to be aware of these set pieces. 
Sri Lanka much improved display from what they had against Afghanistan. Nabi trying his best, Sayyid Rahim Nabi. 25 year old JJ Lal Peklua. Wasted pass again, just can't get the ball accurate. This pressure telling on the players. The burden of expectations proving too much for these younger Indian players. Cross coming in, this could be dangerous. Karanji to the rescue, delay in clearance. Last minute clearance by Rokas Lamare. This is where Sri Lanka are very dangerous. They sting like a bee. Anthony Pereira. Good ball to Sunil Chetri. Good end to end action now. Sunil lets fly. Goalkeeper stops and that's the first goal. And at last India has scored. And the relief on the face of Savio Madeira says it all. It is JJ Lal Peklua who has broken the duck. And the Indian players can breathe a sigh of relief. Sunil Chetri the first shot. The rebound and JJ just gets past the goalkeeper at last India have their supporters give their supporters something to cheer about nice goal JJ Lal Peklua the Mizoram boy and the sheer happiness Marcus Pacheco and all the other officials hugging the, the Savio Madeira JJ Lal Peklua he has scored the goal for India, which will send them into the semi-final. Maybe a second team in the group. JJ Lal Peklua, it is only his seventh goal for India in senior international matches. This 20-year-old. He's just started his inter senior international career. This year, in fact, only for India. Scored seven goals, a good tally in just one calendar year. Highly rated, the Pune FC striker. Got a very vital goal. Broken Sri Lankan resistance. Now can we see more sp sparkling football? Karanjit made a timely save at the other end. He kept India in the match. Here, another goalkeeper who's really risen to the forefront. First goalkeeper from Punjab, since Surjit Singh. Surjit Singh playing the 1978 Asian Games at Bangkok and now it's Karanjit Singh. Of course, he plays his football for Salgaonkar, but here comes Sri Lanka. Sheer happiness for these youngsters. Legs flying. Clifford Miranda and all a relief. You can see them, the puffing of the cheeks. Sheer relief. They've got that off their back, that bogey of not scoring a goal. India expected to win against all countries of the South Asia region. They are five times champions, twice runners up. Here goes Clifford Miranda. Again, miss pass, miss pass. Not very happy display but here come the Sri Lankans not to be underestimated Mohammad Zain climax but in midfield we are losing a lot of balls through inaccurate passing in midfield and this is the through ball the flag has stayed down no the flag has gone up so it won't count it won't count the equalizer and very clear it is Anas Sube the Syrian assistant referee who was very clear that it's offside. Now we see the through ball. And yes, marginally offside. Nirmal Chetri had not kept pace with his central defenders. That's the rub of the green went India's way. The champion's luck, as they can say. You need a little bit of luck always. There's number 20 who's come on. Mohammad Safras Gaz of the renowned club. Very dangerous customer. Very trustful. You have to be wary of him. The flat back four of Sri Lanka had done wonders so far. Anthony Pereira had set this goal up. Full credit to this youngster from Goa. He fed Chetri. Now Chetri on his own. Twisting, turning. 
Anthony Pereira lets fly, gets the rebound, check three. Very fine sliding tackle, credit to the Sri Lankan defense. Straight to the goalkeeper, the diagonal ball. So 10 minutes into the second half, things looking up for India. One mil ahead, and they are on their feet, these youngsters. Gormangi losing sight of the ball, Sri Lanka getting the ball back. Sri Lanka know they have no option but to come into attack now, so I think we'll have an adventurous second half. Coming back was Rokas Lamare tackling Chatura Kunaratne, the Sri Lankan midfielder. Lots of anxious faces in the first half, now relief on the Indian supporters. Karanjit looking on. Lovely free kick, well taken. The Karanjit judges it well. Very nice free kick taken over there by Chatura Kanur Kunaratne. Over the wall and curving fast. Good judgment by Karanjit Singh. Here's another player who's grown in stature since taking over from Subroto Pal. India doesn't miss Subroto Pal so much now because Charanjit has really lived up to expectations. Anthony Pereira, low cross, didn't get any height on the cross. In fact, really the first goalkeeper from Punjab to play as a regular. So when Surjit Singh was in the team, it was Bhaskar Ganguly and Ramanand who are the regular first choices for India. So it's the first time a goalkeeper from Punjab is doing so well. He's a local boy discovered by Sukhvinder Singh in the JCT team. Now doing duty for Karim Ben Sharifa's Salgaon country. Cut off by Sayyid Rahim Nabi, ever reliable. Rokas Lamare, popping up at the back. Clifford Miranda. Part of the tempo quartet in the team. Nabi now on the overlap. Good build up by India. JJ on his own. JJ can fire and the goalkeeper saves. Sujan Pereira. Full credit to Sujan Pereira. Narrowed the angle well. JJ maybe took a fraction too late to shoot. But he took his favorite left foot but straight to the goalkeeper. But Sujan came up to the edge of the six yard box and narrowed the angle. See that again. More power and maybe it would have crept off his fingers. Savio knows he could have wrapped up the match. Let's see a much happier Savio Madeira. See Anthony Pereira with this corner kick to the far post. Ball still hovering around. Sri Lanka headed away. comes the cross. Falling deep, Anthony Pereira. Sayyid Rahim Nabi. Sri Lankan defense, that's Juan Tilaka. Clearing. Mohamed Zain. Gormangi. Good positional play. Rokas Lamare releases the ball well, links up well with the forwards. Rokas Lamare having a much better game today. Mahesh Gaudi. More confidence in the Indian team now. Nice spoke too soon. Here come the Sri Lankans. They won't give up without a fight. He's got pace, but Karanjit Singh comes out. Excellent display by Karanjit Singh. And very good temperament also. Calm demeanor. Charanjit. This could have been a bit of trouble. Gormangi is really not the fastest of uh, defenders. And he could have got uh, Napuna Bendara. 
He's a tricky customer, very quick on his feet. JJ, the goal scorer. To Anthony Pereira. The ball falls loose. India still lots of penetration down the center being attempted. Clifford Miranda, long range try, very hopeful. So at the hour mark, it's India sitting pretty. India will reach seven points if they get a win. But they'll be second to, uh, to Afghanistan because Afghanistan has a healthy goal difference of plus nine. So India would play Maldives then, a replay of the 2009-2008 final. It should be a cracker of a match and hopefully get the crowds in at the Nehru Stadium in Delhi. Sayyad Rahim Nabi, Chetri. Midfield has to exert itself. That's Nirmal Chetri, a lovely ball to Clifford Miranda. Switching play very well. Clifford, a wee bit slow in his first touch. Allows the right back, Pompan Nassar, to hustle him off the ball. But he's got a corner kick in the bargain. Yes, he's got a corner kick, Mohamed Nazar, the right back. Last touch was his, Sujan Pereira. He's had a good game, the Sri Lankan goalkeeper. In fact, a good tournament. gormangi has gone up, the tallest man in the Indian team. Nabi is always is up, but the header wide. Standards have improved considerably in the South Asian football. Uh, fraternity. We see that again. Ball went on the top of the forehead, so he couldn't direct it downwards. Didn't get enough leap on it. Sujan limping somewhat will be cause of concern to the Sri Lankan bench. Nirmal Chetri. Slight miss pass. This good interception over here. Rokas Lamare, very good in these first time one touch passes of his. Sunil Chetri. JJ, let's fly! And narrowly wide. It goes with the speed of a rifle bullet. With a low back lift, he can really let fly. JJ Lal Peklua. He's one for the future. So talking about the improved conditions of South Asian nations, when these two teams met about 50 years ago, it's December 1963 in the pre-Olympics match, India won 5-2 in Colombo and 7-0 at home. In fact, India's highest victory margin ever. So, of course, that was the golden period of Indian football. We were Asian champions at that time. But Sri Lanka has improved by leaps and bounds after that. Bangalore match on 28 December. It was Appalaraju scoring a hat trick, the late Appalaraju. Indar Singh was there now. The flag stays down. JJ Lal Peklua should finish it off. No, he doesn't. Chetri can. What a miss. What a bungle. JJ should have done better with this. He knows it. Sujan Pereira has troubled him, but Chetri, it's difficult. Because the defender had retreated, he couldn't have played it on the ground, he had to chip it. But JJ should have done much better with that. He's got the goal, but he's missed two. Well, Clifford Miranda, steaming down the left flank. The tackle comes in, Mohamed Nazar playing an excellent game as right back, the Sri Lankan Navy man. Raju 3, Sarmat Khan 2, Inder Singh, now a grandfather in Fagwara, retired, 1, and Sukumar Samajpati getting one goal. So it's changed a lot from then, from 40, 50 years ago. South Asian football standards have lifted. There are no more minnows except maybe Bhutan. India maybe hasn't progressed as much as they would have liked to in football in this last five decades.
Here's the captain. Will he lead his team on to victory? When it was held in Goa, there was another Goan, Bruno Cotino, who was India's captain. He was a Salgaonkar man, climax as a tempo player. Sunil Chetri trying to find JJ. They've got telepathic understanding, these two. Sunil earlier with Baichung, now with JJ, combines well. Sunil Chetri on his own, Sunil Chetri lets fly, Sujan blocks. Sujan again narrows the angle and a superb save by Sujan Parel. He's saved at least two goals, now India on fire. Suddenly the Sri Lankan midfield is being overrun. Lean and frail Sujan Pereira. Brilliant display, really outstanding goalkeeping. And India get this corner kick. It's throbbing, it's all exciting at the Nehru Stadium. Anthony Pereira, headed, but headed wide. Lean, lanky, Sujan Pereira. Reminds me so much of former Indian goalkeeper Mustafa of the 1960s. Very quick movement, quick silver reflexes. That was the header just didn't connect properly. But Sujan Pereira has kept Sri Lanka in this match. Otherwise, India could have even been having dreams of catching up with Afghanistan's goal tally. So, as we are midway through the second half, a much better display by India. But it's still just 1-0 ahead. They could have made the match safe. A victory will take India to seven points, level with Afghanistan, but probably second on goal difference unless there are a whole lot of goals in these last 20 minutes of play. A draw will also be safe. India has to avoid a loss, getting a bit excited. Mohammad Safraz, Kels of the renowned club, promising 20-year-old. Very trustful. But Kormangi stands firm. Churchill Brothers, central defender, former Tata Football Academy product. They're quite remarkable. Three of the four Indian defenders are all from Tata Football Academy. Now Sunil Chetri to another TFA boy, Clifford Miranda, but the sliding tackle comes in. Yeoman service the Tata Football Academy has done for India in the last two decades. Here we see this lovely move but slightly wee bit should have been angled away from the defender. Anthony Pereira again. Third corner is taken in the last seven minutes of play. This time taking it low and flat. This corner kick show that India's been quite dominant. Miss pass, offside. You have to be careful, Mahesh Kauli and Gormangi. Yes, he was yards offside, Mohammad Safras cares. Sunil Chetri falling deep. Good ball to Anthony Pereira. His first touch lets him down. Rokas Lamare, good positional play. Linking up well. Rokas Lamare, Nirmal Chetri also overlapping. Gained in confidence, Nirmal Chetri. Clifford Miranda. Nice through ball, but took a bit too long, and Sujan Pereira to the rescue.
Clifford Miranda. There we see that uh, Sudan Pereira. Now the second goal and we'll show you the goal, the audience on their feet. That's it, Clifford Miranda, the high cross. Header goal words. We see it again from this angle. To the far post. Up goes Sunil Chetri. And Sujan Pereira for one scot flat footed. So Sunil Chetri has wrapped up the match for India. 2 0. He's got his fourth goal of the tournament. That's the score, as it tells you, in the 70th minute. His fourth goal of the tournament. His sixth goal overall in the SAF Championships. Anthony Pereira now too long. Because in 2008, he also scored two goals. One in the semi-final against Bhutan and once against Nepal, whom India beat 4-0 in the league match. And overall, this is his 31st goal for India. He's played over 50 matches and, well, I'm sure he could go well past Bhai Chung Bhutia's tally of 43 matches. 43 goals. Maybe he could be the first Indian to reach the half-century mark in, of international goals. He's got Shabir Ali and I am Vijayan ahead of him. He's got a long way to go, the 27-year-old. Clash against Nirmal Chetri. Lovely close control there by JJ Lal Peklua, but the flag had been the whistle had gone. Anthony Pereira, penetrative cross here. Much better display in the second half. But a change coming in. And this time the twin strikers have done it. Chetri and so it's Sheikh Jewel Raja coming on. Sheikh Jewel Raja coming on for Rokas Lamare. Sheikh Jewel Raja. The number 28. He's going to replace Rokas Lamare. Sheikh Jewel Raja of Mohan Bagan Club. From another player from Bengal, from the Baj Baj region. Where the Bata factories is there whole family of football players, his elder brother Tarif Ahmad also represented India, junior level. Now let's see how he gets injured. That's the number 12 of the Sri Lankan team. The Mohamed Zain, the key player, getting treatment from the Sri Lankan bench, that is the physiotherapist. Uh, SNK PK Silva, Mohamed Zain, a very important player for them. Tripped by Sayyid Rahim Nabi. The stretcher comes on, the outfield player has to get treatment outside the field. Play can't be stopped. Mohamed Zain, really very important player for Sri Lanka and scored in the win against Bhutan. Looking worried now, wondering what he can do. The head coach, Yang Yu, the Korean head coach. So, Sheikh Jewel Raja getting a run the last 20 minutes or so. That's it, the first touch of the ball. This youngster who likes fast motorbikes owns a Kawasaki Ninja, Sheikh Jewel Raja.
heading heading on. Sri Lanka coming into attack. India's lost the momentum somewhat. For the last 10 minutes they've been really quite outstanding. Patient possession build up. Good interception here. That's the hallmark of Mahesh Kauli's game always. Reads foot the game very well. Sunil Chetri falling deep. Good through ball to JJ. Looking to go on his own. Clifford Miranda picking up. JJ snapping up the loose ball. Kicked out. Good sporting display here because the Sri Lankan player was lying on the ground. Injury over here to the Sri Lankan defender. We see that the clash between Clifford Miranda and Sri Lanka's defender that is Mohammad Nazar, the right back, Mohammad Nazar. Hurt on his chest, winded somewhat, a young player who's had a very good game, kept Clifford Miranda in check, Mohamed Nazar. <laughs> Sri Lanka also seemed to be making a change. But Becky is there, but he's gone back into the action. Mohamed Nazar, Sri Lankan physios, both very busy. Rumal Pereira and SNK, SNPK Silva. So play resumes. And India go back into the domination of midfield. Fifteen minutes left for the final whistle and whatever added time the fourth official will give. Sheikh Jewel Raja combining with his Mohan Bagan teammate, Nabi. Nirmal Chetri. Good play here. Jewel Raja Sheikh. He was there in 2009 when India won the SAF Championships against all odds in Bangladesh. Nirmal Chetri. Sunil Chetri. Twisting and turning. Climax. Clifford. Ball doesn't reach an Indian player. Clifford gets it again. Going in for a deep cross. Rebound corner. Mohamed Nazar with the interception. Anthony Pereira was going to walk across. No, Clifford going to take it himself. Both these tempo players, the wide men, the retractable wingers. Are very good in the set piece taking these corner kicks. Clifford Miranda to the far post, lovely corner. India's the heading that is an area of weakness. Recall Magan Singh and Tipu Das, great headers of the ball of the past. Shishi Ghosh. Brought down, free kick to India in an advantageous position. Getting frustrated is the Sri Lankan captain, Juan Talika of the Saunders Club. Chetri can be quite a handful with his close control. Climax there, Clifford Miranda there. They are all standing near the ball. So there's going to be yet another change for India. I think before the free kick is taken, or will the free kick be taken first? I think they're going to take the free kick first because Taimur Fesluin has not noticed that there's a substitution, substitute lined up. Is he going to stop play? He's got his back to the fourth official. So he's going to allow the free kick and Chetri takes it and why? Now the, I think we'll have the substitution and Steven Dias coming on. Steven Dias. 
also of Churchill Brothers, formerly of Mahindra United and Air India, replacing Anthony Pereira. Steven Dias used to cycle his way to the Air India grounds to learn his football from a humble origin, Steven Dias. Now football has helped him to set up, set his family up well. He's the great set-piece expert of Indian football, Steven Dias, the poor man's David Beckham. It was his corner kick by which Sunil Chetri equalised against Afghanistan. Throw into India. So Steven Dias gets a run in. One wonders, will there be a third change also? Will we see Lalvandi Karalte also coming on? Thinking of the semi-final now is Savio Madeira, and justifiably so, brought down, free kick will go to India. Frustration creeping in, Clifford Miranda again having a very good game. Troubling Mohamed Nazar now, with those sudden acceleration, that's what he's so good at. Seems to be lumbering around and then pushes forward. Away, Sujan Pereira. Suni Chetri to Clifford Miranda, but slightly wasted the cross and headed back by Danushka Vijeshri, the left back of Sri Lanka. It's a little hasty that cross by Clifford, otherwise had a very good game. But what must make Savio really happy is that both his twin strikers have let have fired this time. JJ has got a goal, Sunil has got a goal. And now Sunil Chetri scored in every match, in ev all the three matches. The skipper injured, tackle coming in by uh, the number 20, that is Mohamed Safas Gaz. Skipper climax, one wonders if precautionary he'll be taken off. So Sunil Chetri has done what none of the other players in this tournament have done so far scored in every round and he's caught up with Bilal Arzu, both of them on four goals as the top scorers of this tournament. Bilal Arzu getting three of those goals against the Minos, Bhutan. Chetri, two against Bhutan, one against Sri Lanka, one the equaliser against Afghanistan. His sixth goal in the SAF Championship is in just his second SAF Championship. He played five matches then and three matches now. So in eight matches, he's got six goals. Play resumes. Climax is off the field for treatment. Gormangi holds firm. Chatura Gunaratne. Jewel Raja Sheikh intercepting. Clifford Miranda very rightly. Good play here. It fallen deep because his skipper was absent. Sunil Chetri holding on to the ball too long, but then fighting to get back possession. Shows good spirit. And well, yes, a substitution coming in. He's trying out somebody who hasn't come before. That's Sushil Kumar Singh, who was the captain last time when India won. Sushil Kumar Singh coming on, the number 18. And he comes on in place of JJ Lal Peklua. Now, youngster like Sushil captaining India was because India fielded the relic, an under 21 team under Sukhvinder Singh in 2009 in the SAF Championship at Dhaka. 
which really didn't go down very well with all the South Asian officials because it was felt as they were being underestimated. So India's fielded the full senior team this time. But Sushil Singh was the captain last time. Now what can he do now? Sunil Chetri has come to the left over here. Clifford flicking on. Edda Goldberg. Sushil Kumar Singh. That's Clifford. The cross and Sushil with the header. Plays for Baichung Bhutia's team, United Sikkim. Has scored just three goals for his country. He and Govind Singh are in the second division. There's a mistake there by Sheikh Jewel Raja, but made up. This is good team spirit. Players help each other out. Gormangi, Climax, Nirmal Chetri. Clever play here by India. Well, again, the curse of the commentator. Climax passed wrong just as I was praising, praising them. But overall, much to be pleased about in the second half by India's performance. They didn't panic. They prized open this tight marking Sri Lankan defense. Dhanushuka, Dhanushka Vijeshri with the throw. Relentless pressure, the Sri Lankan defense cracked. There's Sheikh Jewel Raja, whose dream in life is to buy a Ferrari car, to drive a Ferrari. Low at the back of the head. That's Clifford Miranda. Cannot make any substitutions. Mohammad Nazar is a tough customer, the right back. They've been through the wars. They've had quite a duel, these two. Clifford Miranda's done all his club service with tempo, despite offers from several other clubs. Again, a Tata Football Academy product. Been with tempo since the 2004 5 season. Ice treatment. Sri Lanka physios have been very busy. Silva and Pereira. That's it. They go head to head against each other. Clash of heads going for the ball. Often happens in football. The right back overlapping. Clifford leaning back to head the ball. They'll recover after a brief period and play will resume. Chetri, lovely skill over here, dragging the ball back. Good dribbling skills, climax. Sushil Kumar Singh turning on the ball. Reserve goalkeepers and Gobind Singh. Now, nearly all the players have been tried out by the Indian coach. Karanjit comfortably picks up the ball. Full credit to Karanjit, he kept India in the match when the score was goalless. That save was very crucial because immediately after that, on the counter attack, India scored. On the turn. Jewel Raja Sheikh, Chetri, Sushil, lovely play here by India, again Sushil, a chance here, cross coming in but not enough depth in the cross, Sayyid Rahim Nabi's cross. Jewel Raja Sheikh. And on the break, Mohammad Zain. Oh, wonderful running back by Jewel Raja Sheikh. Clifford, who 
Bruce Clifford, not June Raja Sheikh. Clifford Miranda. Climax. Sushil Kumar Singh. Lovely ball to Sunil Chetri. He can finish it off, but he sends it wide. This was the perfect wall pass which spread eagle the two Sri Lankan defenders, Bandara and Rohan. And Chetri angled it just wide. Sushil and Chetri combining well. Both Ruan Tilaka and Warakakoda had completely as time is ticking away India getting their second win of the tournament 2-0 against Sri Lanka and will be on action against Maldives now because Afghanistan are going to top this group on superior goal difference Sri Lanka and Bhutan go home from this group a little bit of argument with Mohammad Nazar and Sunil Chetri cooling it down is Taimur Fazuli Steven Dias coming to take it. Well, that's the action. Uh, Clifford Miranda brought down. Suni Chetri getting the ball and Mohamed Nazar losing his school a bit. That's where Taimur is intervening. The sports teacher. Steven Dias, the set piece expert, he's going to take this free kick. Added time is three minutes by Nagorami. Steven Dias curls it in. Lovely event. That could have been 3 0. Sushil Kumar Singh with the header. Steven Dice excels in this. He earlier also sent a lovely corner kick. Now this free kick. The Mumbai boy developed his football in the Air India training ground near the, near the Mumbai airport. Another one of Bimal Ghosh's products. It's to go on a cycle. Very humble origin, Stephen Dyes, but says he owes a lot to Bob Houghton and the confidence Bob Houghton gave him. Been a regular on the right side of midfield, but now faces competition from Anthony Pereira. And a firm try, but Karanjeet alert in the right position. Clifford Miranda, we are into added time. Here it is, Nipuna Bandara, through ball. And a nice shot over there by uh, that was NM Izaidin. A chance for India, but just blocked at the last minute. Again, this was Jewel Raja Sheikh who would have got a goal. Always with a pleasant smile on his face. This boy from Baj Baj in South Calcutta. The Mohan Bagan midfielder. Clifford to take the corner kick. So India to play the semi-finals on Friday. The cross comes in and that's a lovely goal. What a goal to make it 3-0. The Sri Lankan defence found wanting. We just look at it again. Is it an own goal? Or has somebody... Did an Indian player touch the ball? Let's look at it again. Played it short. Steven Dias crosses. Yes, it's an own goal. It's an own goal. It's an OG. Look at it from this angle. The cross comes in and trying to clear. Well, it doesn't never rains but pause. It's the number two, the army man, Bandara Warakakona. It's an own goal. So India get a gift. Of a Steven Dyer's cross, and the score line becomes comfortable. They must be regretting those missed chances now because they could have overtaken Afghanistan on goal difference. And it's all over. It's ended a comfortable 3 0 victory for India. And in a way, it's, they've avenged that loss of 1995, the golden goal loss to Sri Lanka in the 1995 tournament. But happy days for Savio Madeira and his team. As they march confidently into the semi-final, Marcus Pacheco, Sabia Madeira and the Indian officials, Sunil Chetri all smiles, he's on four goals, he's the joint top scorer of the tournament uh, with Bilal Arzu, 
So the semi-final lineup is going to be Afghanistan versus Nepal, the first semi-final, the second semi-final, a real cracker of a match. The two heavyweights of the South Asian region, Maldives and India. The most improved country in terms of football in the region, Maldives, will take on the Giants India. The Indian supporters jubilant, the tricolor fluttering, Marcus Pacheco and Savio Madeira are very relieved. At last everything has clicked and clicked for the national team. They applied the pressure, they got three goals in the second half and they've got the supporters happy and hopefully they'll be there in large numbers in the semi-final because it's going to be, Maldives will be a tough nut to crack. It's not going to be easy. It's Steven Dias's cross which got India the third goal. That's the final score. All three goals in second half. India three, Sri Lanka nil. They wiped out Sri Lanka and India have entered the semi-finals. And we'll show you how they've entered the semi-finals. Have a look at the points tally. Afghanistan on the top, marginally on goal difference. Both India and Afghanistan on seven points each with two victories. Sri Lanka goes home with just one victory and Bhutan have lost all their three matches. So India comes second in Group A, play the winners of Group B, that is Maldives. Incidentally, Maldives and Nepal also finish level with five points each. And Afghanistan will take on Nepal, the runners-up of uh, Group B in the first semi-final on Friday, which will be shown you live on 10 Action. Let's see the goals. This is JJ Lal Peklua snapping in a rebound. Lovely angle shot just past Sujan Pereira's outstretch hand. Clifford Miranda floating and Sunil Chetri, a lovely header which would have done Magan Singh and the greats of old or the great Mohamed Habib. It would have done them proud. Bhai Chung Bhutia also was a wonderful header of the ball. And there, a miss kick by Bandareka and that was the third goal which India conceded. And so that led to the own goal by Warakar Koda led to India win margin becoming comfortable and so India beat Sri Lanka 3-0.
like I'm living a dream, girl. I can't do that, give up.